Understanding Asthma, the ultimate NCLEX roadmap. Asthma is a chronic lung condition without a cure. It poses significant challenges due to the narrowing and inflammation of the airways, specifically the bronchi and bronchioles. This inflammation leads to wheezing, chest tightness, shortness of breath, and coughing, making it crucial for nurses to comprehend the complexities of this condition. How asthma attacks manifest? During an asthma attack, the intricate respiratory structures come into play. The smooth muscles around the airways constrict, causing breathing difficulties and chest tightness. Additionally, excessive inflammation of the mucosal lining, home to goblet cells producing mucus, further narrows the airways, hampering airflow and resulting in characteristic symptoms like coughing and wheezing. Early warning signs, crucial for effective management. Recognizing early signs and symptoms of an impending asthma attack is pivotal. Patients may exhibit indicators such as increased breathlessness, persistent coughing, especially at night, or symptoms akin to a cold. Educating patients about these signs is integral, aiding in devising an asthma action plan alongside their physician. Acute versus chronic asthma, distinguishing symptoms. Understanding the nuances between acute and chronic asthma is pivotal for healthcare professionals to render appropriate care and intervention strategies. Both present distinctive symptoms and management approach us. Acute asthma symptoms. Acute asthma exacerbations are marked by sudden worsening of symptoms. The hallmark signs include rapid onset of symptoms, severe breathlessness. Patients often experience extreme difficulty in breathing, accompanied by audible wheezing and increased respiratory rate. Chest tightness. A profound sensation of pressure or constriction in the chest is a prevalent symptom during acute asthma. Persistent cough, intense and frequent coughing spells, especially worsen at night, signify an impending or ongoing acute attack. Difficulty exhaling. Exhaling becomes notably strenuous, leading to prolonged exhalation and a feeling of airway obstruction. Progression of symptoms. Respiratory distress. As the attack progresses, patients may exhibit signs of severe distress, indicated by an inability to speak. Evident retractions in the chest and abdomen and cyanosis of the lips and skin due to inadequate oxygen intake. Failure of rescue medication. Despite using rescue inhalers, patients may find minimal relief, leading to a deteriorating condition requiring immediate medical intervention. Chronic asthma symptoms. Chronic asthma, on the other hand, is characterized by persistent and recurrent symptoms. These include recurrent symptoms, intermittent wheezing. Patients may experience sporadic wheezing, often triggered by specific environmental factors or physical exertion. Frequent cough. Persistent coughing, particularly at night or upon exposure to triggers, remains a recurrent feature of chronic asthma. Mild to moderate breathlessness. While not as severe as acute attacks, individuals with chronic asthma often report mild to moderate difficulty in breathing. Daily impact. Exercise limitation. Individuals with chronic asthma might experience limitations in physical activities due to the fear of triggering an attack or experiencing discomfort during exertion. Sleep disturbances, nocturnal symptoms including coughing and breathlessness, can disrupt sleep patterns and result in daytime fatigue. Management approaches for acute and chronic asthma. Acute asthma management. During acute exacerbations, immediate nursing interventions are crucial. Assessment and monitoring. Nurses must swiftly assess vital signs, oxygen saturation, lung sounds, and the patient's overall respiratory distress level. Medication administration, administering bronchodilators such as albuterol, as prescribed, and closely monitoring the patient's response are essential. Oxygen therapy. Supplemental oxygen is administered to maintain oxygen saturation levels between 95 to 99 percent. Positioning and comfort. Placing the patient in a high feller's position aids in optimizing breathing comfort. Chronic asthma management. Managing chronic asthma involves a more comprehensive and proactive approach. Medication adherence. Educating patients about the importance of adhering to their prescribed long-term controller medications, such as inhaled corticosteroids or leukotriene modifiers, is crucial. Trigger identification and avoidance. Assisting patients in identifying triggers and devising strategies to avoid exposure to these triggers significantly reduces the frequency and severity of asthma symptoms. Regular monitoring. Encouraging patients to regularly monitor their peak flow readings, adhere to their action plans, and seek medical advice promptly when symptoms worsen ensures proactive management of chronic asthma. The role of patient education in asthma management. 
Empowering patients through comprehensive education plays a pivotal role in both acute and chronic asthma management. Understanding asthma triggers. Educating patients about common triggers such as allergens, pollutants, and certain medications helps them identify and avoid potential triggers. Proper inhaler technique. Demonstrating and ensuring correct inhaler technique is crucial for optimal medication delivery and effectiveness. Self-monitoring and action plans. Educating patients on monitoring techniques using peak flow meters and understanding their action plans equips them to recognize early warning signs and take appropriate measures promptly. Lifestyle modifications. Encouraging lifestyle modifications, including smoking cessation, regular exercise with intolerance levels, and maintaining a clean indoor environment, significantly contributes to asthma management. Asthma symptoms. Distinguishing between acute and chronic asthma symptoms is pivotal for nurses to tailor their interventions accordingly. Acute exacerbations demand swift and precise nursing interventions to alleviate distress and prevent further deterioration, whereas chronic management necessitates a proactive approach focusing on long-term control and symptom prevention. Empowering patients through education, medication adherence, trigger identification, and regular monitoring forms the cornerstone of effective asthma management ultimately enhancing patients' quality of life and minimizing the impact of this chronic respiratory condition. The Action Plans – A Guide to Control Tailored asthma action plans empower patients to manage their condition based on symptoms and peak flow meter readings, categorized into green, yellow, and red zones based on severity. These plans guide medication administration. Determining a personal best peak flow reading serves as a crucial benchmark, alerting patients when their asthma isn't under control. Nursing interventions during asthma attacks. During acute attacks, immediate nursing interventions are vital. Assessing vital signs, ensuring patient comfort, and administering prescribed bronchodilators and oxygen are crucial steps. Monitoring peak flow readings, understanding trigger factors, and educating patients about early warning signs form the crux of nursing care. Medications and treatment options for asthma. Various medication classes aid in managing asthma from short-acting beta agonists like albuterol to long-acting options such as salmeterol and combination medications like Symbicort. Additionally, anti-inflammatory agents like corticosteroids and leukotriene modifiers play pivotal roles in controlling symptoms and reducing airway inflammation. Understanding asthma medications for the NCLEX, asthma, a chronic respiratory condition affecting millions worldwide, demands a multifaceted approach to its management. One crucial aspect involves understanding the medications employed in treating asthma. This essay delves into the various bronchodilators used, including beta agonists and anticholinergics, shedding light on their types, applications, and potential side effects. Asthma management, functioning to open airways and enhance airflow. Among these, two primary categories are frequently employed for asthma treatment, beta agonists and anticholinergics. Albuterol, available in inhaler or nebulizer form, serves as fast-acting relief during asthma attacks or before exercise-induced situations. It is not intended for daily treatment. Usage monitoring. Patients using albuterol more than twice a week signal inadequate asthma control, necessitating a reassessment of their asthma plan. Long-acting beta agonists. Salmeterol. Indication. Salmeterol, a long-acting beta agonist, differs from its short-acting counterpart. It is not designed for acute asthma attacks, but proves effective in symptom control over an extended period. Side effects. Potential side effects include tachycardia and nervousness. Regular heart rhythm monitoring is advised to detect dysrhythmia promptly. Anticholinergics. Ipratropium and tiotropium. Ipratropium. This short-acting bronchodilator relaxes the airway and is utilized when a patient cannot tolerate short-acting beta agonists. Tiotropium. As a long-acting bronchodilator, tiotropium offers sustained relief for extended durations. Managing side effects. Both drugs may cause dry mouth, mitigated by the use of sugarless hard candy. Theophylline. Administration. Typically given orally, theophylline is less common due to potential toxicity and the need for maintaining blood levels within a specific range. 10 to 20 mcg ml. Caffeine avoidance. Patients on theophylline should avoid caffeine-containing products, as caffeine shares properties that can exacerbate the medication's toxic effects. Sequential administration. It is imperative to administer the bronchodilator first, followed by the corticosteride, with a five-minute interval between them. Intervention measures. 
If a patient remains unresponsive to treatment, more aggressive measures such as intubation and mechanical ventilation may become necessary. Unlocking the depths, NCLEX optimized insights, understanding as medications extends beyond mere awareness of their names and applications. It involves grasping the intricacies, monitoring strategies, and potential complications. Mastery of short-acting beta agonists. Mastering the nuances of short-acting beta agonists like albuterol is pivotal. Recognizing their role as rapid relievers during acute attacks or before exercise-induced situations is fundamental. However, a red flag emerges when patients find themselves reaching for their inhalers more than twice a week. This scenario necessitates an immediate review and potential adjustment of their asthma management plan. Long-acting beta agonists, more than symptom control. Tamaterol's role in long-term symptom control demands attention. Nurses need to grasp that while it is not suitable for acute attacks, its effective use requires vigilant monitoring for side effects such as tachycardia and nervousness. Routine heart rhythm checks become indispensable to ensure patient safety. Anticholinergics. Balancing act with apotropium and tiotropium. Navigating the usage of anticholinergics involves a delicate balance. Ipertropium, a short-acting bronchodilator, steps in when patients cannot tolerate short-acting beta agonists. Tiotropium, on the other hand, provides sustained relief. Nurses play a crucial role in guiding patients on managing potential side effects like dry mouth, making sugarless hard candy a practical solution. Theophylline's delicate dance with toxicity. Understanding Theophylline's delicate dance with potential toxicity requires careful consideration. Nurses must emphasize the importance of maintaining blood levels within the specified range and the necessity of caffeine avoidance. Moreover, the sequential administration of bronchodilators and corticosteroids demands meticulous adherence to ensure efficacy and safety. Intervention measures. The last resort, recognizing the limits of medication effectiveness is imperative. Nurses must be vigilant for signs of treatment resistance and the possible need for more aggressive measures, including intubation and mechanical ventilation. This level of awareness and preparedness can be a deciding factor in critical situations. A nurse's astute approach to asthma medications. In conclusion, a nurse's mastery of asthma medications goes beyond memorizing names and dosages. It involves a deep understanding of the mechanisms, vigilant monitoring for potential complications, and the ability to adapt interventions based on individual patient responses. Aspiring nurses preparing for the NCLEX must not only be able to recall facts but also demonstrate a comprehensive understanding of how these medications function in the dynamic landscape of asthma management. This essay aims to equip nurses with the insights needed to tackle questions related to understanding asthma for the NCLEX with confidence and competence. Empowering through patient education, Patient education is fundamental for effective asthma management. Ensuring patients comprehend their action plans, identify triggers, and administer medications correctly empowers them. Guiding patients in establishing personal best peak flow readings and recognizing early warning signs enables active participation in managing their condition. Nurses' role in asthma management. Understanding asthma comprehensively involves grasping its pathophysiology, triggers, and treatment strategies. Nurses play a crucial role not only in patient care, but also in empowering individuals to manage their condition actively. With informed interventions and robust patient education, the impact of asthma can be significantly mitigated, enhancing the quality of life for those affected.